Okay, solving absolute value equations. Now, remember, an absolute. When you absolute anything, it's always a positive answer. So if I um, absolute, let's have a look at some examples, okay? So if I've got a two and I absolute it, it'll give me a two. If I've got a negative two and I absolute it, it will give me a positive two, okay? So, can you see from this above, all right, this x, okay, it can be 2 or it can be negative 2. So, when I absolute it, it produces a 2, okay? So, what we're saying here is, is what we're going to do, and I'll just erase uh, some of this material here, okay? So, um, that's just a very quick absolute uh, lesson there, okay, remember? Now, how you set up the absolute value equations is of this okay so you just do this x without the absolute sign okay is equal to 2 but also x is equal to negative 2 and basically that's the answer okay we tend to just write it in fancy notation like this curly parenthesis a negative 2 and also a positive 2 okay curly parenthesis okay so that's that that's how you do uh, absolute value equations. Now remember, anything you absolute will be a positive answer. So, how on earth can I have that? How can I absolute anything and it become a negative 2? Do remember those, those are the trick questions. Okay, you just can't do it, right? So, uh, just a very quick lesson on absolute value equations, okay?